Only after sunset, Abu Fazl dares to take on his forbidden mission, leaving his worried wife and daughter behind. I pray every time that he returns safely. We're always worried and try to distract ourselves. When he's back unheard, we praise God. Abu Fazl works on the rooftops of high buildings of the 15 million mega city of Tehran. This is where he performs his services, highly desired by the people, but strictly forbidden by the Mullah state. It's a dangerous business. When you're caught, you go to prison, considered a criminal. It is, however, a good job because you can earn good money. Abu Fazl secretly erects dishes to receive foreign television programs. The state doesn't want us to watch foreign news or political programs. The authorities always argue with pornography. But from my experience, I can say that the families for whom I install the dishes ask me to block these channels. Today's customer asked him to do just that. News are on one, movies on two, animation films on three, and music videos on four. Abu Fazl has made thousands of new customers over the last few years. Iranians are fed up with state television's propaganda machine. Around $150 is the price of an illegal satellite dish. A lot of money, but people pay happily. For many Iranians, this is the only glimpse of the rest of the world. Our domestic programs don't deliver the necessary information. That's why I like to watch the news on foreign channels. And that's how the whole family enjoys entertainment that Iranian television wouldn't show. For instance, American movies showing unveiled women. Our government doesn't want us to see the freedom in other countries. They want us to simmer in our own juice without noticing what happens in the world. When I leave the house, I'm subject to the persecution of the moral guards who ask, why is your veil so far behind? Why are you dressed up like this? That's why I prefer to sit at home and watch satellite TV. And even that is dangerous. Regularly, the police tries to impose the ban on satellite dishes. Pictures of a raid on the roofs of Tehran that were published in the state newspapers as a warning. Happy troops posing after finishing the job. The raid's commanding officer even answers questions on television later. Questions that are exceptionally critical this time. The police entered flats without permission. You've removed the people's satellite dishes and dumped them carelessly onto the streets. Why did you do that? We can't tolerate an illegal thing like satellite dishes to spread all over. We have to act against it. Here's where they haven't been yet. The illegal thing happily spreads from here. A factory for pots and pans of all sizes, but not only, also for dishes. Electronic receivers are smuggled in from abroad. Satellite dishes are secretly manufactured domestically. Regardless of who is in charge, the reformer Khatami or the radical Ahmadinejad, 
The secret media and entertainment industry of Iran is well established and provides foreign television to an estimated 80% of the population. This, from the point of view of the ruling class, un-Islamic revolution, meanwhile reaches to the remotest places of the country. Eight hundred miles south of Tehran, even the most impassable territory does not stop the delivery of the forbidden merchandise. They might not have access to electricity here, but satellite television is nevertheless very present due to generators. <laughs> At the same time, however, the people have a sense of official observation. They are reluctant to talk about the matter. Do you know what a satellite dish is? Well, roughly. Where did you see such dishes? Here, in this region. Have you ever seen satellite TV yourself? Yes. Which channels? No, I haven't watched any channels. I've only seen the dishes. The reason of all that bashful restraint, the state has its agents here too. We have punishments for that. Beating, whipping, banishment. There are many ways to be strict on this phenomenon. When people don't want to listen, we have to act severely against this misbehavior. Just like Imam Ali, who took the sword when the soft options failed. The temptation is all too strong, the mullah's warning is ignored. What did you see on satellite television? Indecent things. Indecent things? Hmm? Yes. Women watch indecent things and the state can't prevent them from doing so. In some villages, men have reacted to that. We have set up new rules. Some programs can only be watched by men. The women we send away. Whether these rules prove to be efficient, we don't know. The Iranians, however, are connected to the world, in spite of all prohibitions and censorship. This old folk song is now even more popular since it's been aired as a pop video clip from abroad. And the leadership of Iran might think, a people that's singing and has some fun, does not seriously attempt to topple the system. Allah Allah.